You know I had to do it. Today I am back at my holy land, my home away from home. Not the new desert house that we just bought, but McDonald's. You guys know I have eaten McDonald's many a time here on this channel. It's one of my favorite nostalgic pastimes on the internet. So they have come out with four McDonald's menu hacks that you can order by name, and you can try some of these hacks without feeling like you're being annoying. But there is a twist. Yes, you can order the surf and turf, the hash brown McMuffin, the crunchy double, and the land air and sea burger by name but don't expect the employees to actually put them together you do have to put them together yourself so you do have to kind of know the recipe but you know what at least we are finally being recognized by McDonald's for our internet food creativity contributions so I'm gonna get you situated right here it's a great angle I do have a problem with this menu hacks list mostly because a lot of them involve fish and I well, hate fish and I absolutely hate fast food fish. <laughs> My saliva is thick even talking about it. But you know, it does, it's never stopped me before from trying and crying and dying. No, just kidding, that's being dramatic. And the other bad news is the hash brown McMuffin is only served during breakfast, which I didn't realize. So stay tuned to see if I actually come back here tomorrow to try that in this video or not. <laughs> the surf and turf consists of a double cheeseburger and a filet of fish. Here's the fish filet in her purest, most mayonnaise form. I love mayonnaise but seeing it, I don't even want, I don't want to see it when I eat it, you know? I just want it to be like mysteriously positioned. Okay guys, I'm not good at cooking as if that's what this actually is. So I'm just gonna put this on the bottom, this on the top, and we're gonna call that surf and turf. I apologize and say sorry McDonald's for ruining it, but y'all didn't even recognize the hack community for so long, so I'm not sorry. Every time I hear surf and turf, I hear shake and bake. I know those are two very different things, but I keep thinking it's surf and turf and I help. Which I did help actually, I, I assembled it, I put it together. Should I get that juicy creamy bite? <laughs> no, y'all don't pay enough for that kind of accent. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that for my OnlyFans that I don't have. Although I did want to sign up to sell feet pictures, but Matt wouldn't let me. <laughs> he was like, absolutely not. And I said, well, I have so many photos of my feet on Wikifee. I have a pretty good grade. So why shouldn't I make money off of something that people are already making money off of? He was like, you know, it's not going to happen. He doesn't put his foot down often. No pun intended. <laughs> but he did that time. Quit delaying. Let's go. Honestly, the double cheeseburger saves it. Am I about to go in for a second bite? No, you are not, Aaron Robinson. It is a little fishy, but it's kind of like fried. It's more of a fried flavor than a fishy flavor. The double cheeseburger really does shine through, which I'm so grateful for you. Because I hate that fish. To be honest, it is not as bad as I thought it would be. It's very heavy. I will say, if you eat this, you really have to be in the mood to just sit down for a while and rest. <laughs> but it's not bad. I'm actually surprised at myself. Since I'm on a roll, let's just do the Land, Air, and Sea Burger. It is this fish filet, plus this Big Mac, plus this. Do you see the math equation? Although air is a little, a little gray because chickens don't fly in the air, they just jump, you know? If you wanna know my true judgmental thoughts. I actually should have brought a plate with me because I think it would make this a lot easier. They should really offer like a tray or something. Are people really doing this in their cars? I mean, I am, but this is what I do. <laughs> We're just gonna take the filet out. Here she is, smothered in her beauteous beauty. And then we're gonna put her into this. Amazing! And I'm gonna use bottom and then <laughs> Matt's watching this sweating right now, watching me just balance this like I'm in a freaking fast food Cirque du Soleil. Oh my gosh, that is glorious. I don't know if this is glorious or it's just proof that like I haven't left the house in two years. Okay, I don't know if my mouth is big enough for this, but I am gonna do my very best to get every single layer, including this Benji hair. <laughs> I gotta make some room. Oh. My mouth is big enough. No, uh-uh, I'm sorry. I have to draw a line, you know what I mean? Oh, too many things, too many things. Oh, no, absolutely not. I've seen what I needed to see. <laughs> Immediately, no. This is just too much, do you know what I mean? Like a hack is good when one thing changes or just like a subtle sauce change or a two thing. When you add 
so many different layers of things together. It's even if they're delicious, they start to taste terrible. And I absolutely do not recommend. Also, if you have TMJ, it's not for you. I can confirm. I was trying to be like all ambitious with that bite. I'm not built for it. Ambition, I'm not built for it. Next up is the Crunchy Double, which is the double cheeseburger layered with chicken nuggets and topped with barbecue sauce. That was like an add-on that was very recommended. Got the barbecue sauce. Mm, okay, so here she is. This is the double cheeseburger. Add my chicken McNuggets. Get a good layer. Let's go, baby. Come on. Mmm. Can you tell I'm not a, a chef? <laughs> this looks terrible. This looks like a four-year-old made this. <laughs> this one's a little trickier to eat because those nuggets are a little slippery. So you really gotta want to eat this one fast. Hmm. I didn't get a lot of chicken. Hold on. One more time. I like it. I do think the barbecue adds a little something. Oh, my hands are so greasy. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> layered with grease right now. Yum. I like that one obviously the best because it's made with things that I like. I don't know if it's needed. That's just for me, the double cheeseburgers and McDonald's are just so good. It's like, I don't ever think, oh, I need more than this. Like this sounds, it's just so perfectly concocted that I don't need anything else. But I do think it's creative and I do think if you're looking for something outside of the box, I think it's good. I do think the barbecue sauce is major key with this. I think it would just taste like it doesn't belong. Like me and a group of pageant girls. Funny story, when I competed for Miss Malibu the day that I showed up, for the pageant. All of these girls looked incredible and worked out so much, had their hair and makeup done. I show up, no makeup, hair and rollers, eating an in and out burger. And one of the girls leans over and I'm eating it during like our rehearsal. One of the girls leans over and says, are you really gonna eat that right now? Like before the pageant? I'm like, um, watch me, absolutely. And there was so much judgment. You could see the girls looking at me like, I can't believe she's totally, that's such a loser mentality. She's totally gonna lose. Like, everybody was giving me so much eye attitude. And what I love about this story is I won. <laughs> and I didn't even care about winning, but when I won, that moment of that girl judging me for eating a cheeseburger during the day of the pageant flashed back in my mind. And then I was proud of myself. I could care less if I had won or not, but knowing that I won and I ate a cheeseburger really just goes to show that the messages that we get sent in this world don't always apply to everyone and everything. And you should just live your life to the fullest. If it doesn't hurt anyone and it brings you joy, Embrace it. And that's the tea. Although y'all know that's a Coke, right? Because I would not not get a fountain drink at McDonald's. I feel like McDonald's has made a lot of progress with the hack movement. I do think they should call me, we should consult. I have some ideas, some just constructive criticism, some basic input. Have you tried these? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Let me know. What other hacks do you think McDonald's should actually add to their menu? Because I think they're better ones, right?